So I found another bridge. Imagine that, right? Just driving by and it's a much newer bridge. Pretty neat, it's got some of the same features, some different ones. It does have an abutment. The abutment um, is concrete, of course, tied into the bank. And I do see some drain, drain holes. Uh, no doubt water is, uh, gets behind there and they wanna release it so that it doesn't wash out the foundation. That's my uh, educated guess there. And then um, it has a very interesting look. It kind of looks like a scaled up version of what we're building. It doesn't have a lot of small crisscrosses as for truss bridges like the older ones do, but they used larger I-beams. And I'll show you, go to the other side. A little more bushwhacking here. <clears throat> It does have much more pronounced, much bigger gussets. A gusset is the plates, and that one has a lot of bolts. The other ones were welded. Um, oh, actually, you know what? I just thought of this. This was constructed in a factory before they brought it here, and then that was constructed in a factory, and then they actually just bolted it together. And that's what they did. They assembled the pieces here. Got another interesting feature, just like the Monocacy, just like the uh, beam bridge over the Monocacy. It has uh, a slider, but it doesn't have a roller, but it has, you can see the little spaces on each side of the bolts. It allows for the very small movement, the expansion and contraction. This bolt um, doesn't hold it down uh, still. It's got no doubt some sliders in there um, and not enough space for the bolt to move back and forth. And it looks like it's got um, like a, a plate underneath there that allows for it to go back and forth. Um, possibly it's asbestos, a material that uh, yeah, kind of rough on people, cancer causing. All right, so what else have we got here? Now I know that it's much newer because it says 2000 and six. Let's go up and check out the other side. Look both ways. No cars. Yeah, that's neat. Good stuff. Much bigger I-beams. Much bigger I-beams. That's an I-beam. And it looks like they just fabricated it. They built it in their fabrication shop and they brought the pieces here. Now here is a good example of an eye beam. It looks like an eye, of course, and very strong shape. Very strong shape. If it was just flat, it would not be as rigid. It would be more floppy. All right, thanks for watching.